Hello and good morning everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a vlog and I want to do a full kind of self-care day. Not quite a full one because it is already half past 12. My son was just picked up to be with his grandparents. My partner is going to go to work soon and I am going to go and have a full day for myself. They won't bring my baby back like his grandparents until 6 p.m. So I have quite some time. I want to do some thrifting. I also want to spend some time outside because it is so beautiful. I potentially want to go to like a coffee shop. There is a museum I'd love to go to, but the weather is so nice. So maybe that's something for another day. Um, yeah, I'm honestly so excited. I, it's been quite a while since I took some time just for myself. So I'm going to take myself on a little date and make this a dreamy day. Oh, also, I shortened the skirt. Let me show you. So one or two vlogs ago, I showed you this skirt and how it was too long. Now I shortened it and I really love it. I hope you can fully see me like this, but this is the look. A lot of green, some white, and this dreamy springy blouse that I recently thrifted in Austria. Can you even see my face when I talk like this? I don't know, because I'm kind of blind without my glasses, but you could at least see the outfit, at least I hope so. A little update on our wedding invites. It's going really good. I painted all of these last night. Um, yeah, we're getting somewhere. I am currently stopping at the train tracks, waiting for a train to cross. Um, I'm driving to um, my fiance Golo's kind of like hometown. It's not really like he's from a very small village, but it's like the town closest by, which is like the other slightly bigger city, town, I'd say town, close to where we live. And I want to go there today. Um, Mainly because one, there is a new thrift store down there. Well, it has been there for a long time, but it used to be only accessible to people under like a certain amount of income. But they recently opened it to the entire public. So I really want to go. I'm very excited. I brought some things to bring there. I brought some things to donate. And I'm not saying that I'm donating to like make it seem like I'm that great of a person. I just want to say, especially when you go thrifting, in places that are dedicated to people with lower income, I think it is important to give back. So Golo and I went through our closets. We just have a small bag, some shoes, some other things that we didn't really like anymore. So I am going to drop that off there. I have that. Oh. This is the amount of things that we came up with. And then I also know that they have a nice park, which I feel like sounds great to do some reading, just sit down. Um, apparently there's a fee you have to pay to get into that park, we're going to see. And then I also would like to get a coffee, maybe go to some other shops. I don't know, I'm very open. Let's see where the day is going to take us. Well, it's, it's taking a long time. I don't even see the train. I, see the, I have seen those videos of people just driving by and I'm terrified. I'd never do that. But sometimes I wonder, oh, now the train is coming, so it's passing. We often drive to this town and we go to visit Golo's parents. We drive to that town and then we just exit a little before that. And I usually always go another way, but because I'm looking for like a certain street in that town that I don't know, I put it into the navigation system and it's telling me to drive this way, which is odd. I've never driven this way to that town. So we are see. So we are going to see, oh, the train is stopping on the station right over there. So I think it's going to pass quite soon and then I can get going again, which I'm excited about. I also brought the most amazing jacket. I need to show you this later. I didn't know how much I love green until very recently. So now I'm just wearing a lot of green. Um, I also brought my blue sunnies because I don't have any green ones and I really love these too. Um, yeah, I'm charging. I forgot to charge my batteries for the camera. I only have the ones charged that are in it right now. So I'm charging my batteries in the car, which is great. Um, I love that there's that possibility and option. Being someone who always used to go everywhere with public transport, I have to say driving is great because it does have some benefits. I still would prefer to go to places on public transportation, but where we live now, that trip that I'm taking now, which is like half an hour by car, would be almost two hours if I would go by public transport. So yeah. 
I guess that's the downside of not living in a city anymore. Oh yes, they're opening again. People are so brave for driving before it is fully open. No, there's another one in the other direction. And now I have to wait here? Oh, damn it. <laughs> I'm just gonna turn off the camera because I believe it's going to take a little longer here and I think that this is boring. So yeah, I'll see you when we get there. I dropped the things off at the uh, charity shop and I had a look through. I even found some things. I didn't film too much in there because it was just very small and crowded. Um, and now I'm at the park. It was indeed one euro to get in, but apparently that's to like keep the park up to like a nice standard, which I think is kind of nice, even though I don't like the idea that it technically excludes ki all kinds of like homeless people. Which I don't know how to feel about that because this is like the only park in this town. But I'm just gonna say this is a nice park. There's water, there's a playground, there's flowers. So yeah, I'm just gonna look for a nice spot. I brought a little like picnic basket with a blanket and a book. So <laughs> I hope I can sit down for a little, maybe like read for an hour or so. And then I'd love to go and grab a coffee, maybe something to eat somewhere. And then maybe I can stop at like another secondhand vintage charity shop because there is one more on my way back and that would be kind of cool actually. But I found in that store that I was right now, I found six identical vintage vases, which I think these might be the perfect thing for our wedding, like for the centerpieces on the tables. So yeah, I'm gonna show you those maybe in this vlog, if not in another vlog soon. I feel like this would be so cool in summer. It's still pretty now, but imagine this in summer. I know that the color match of this green, this green, and the green in my tights isn't perfect, but it was too close to perfect for me not to wear this combo today. It's kind of unfortunate that the street is right on top of it, but there are so many playgrounds and like cool bits for children. I feel like this would be great for my son. If he's a little older, we will come here all the time. I found all the flowers and I think this is where I wanna lay down. I feel like the last time that we did this kind of angle was when I was on vacation. Oh, what a beautiful day. It has been not so great, like the weather hasn't been great. So it's so beautiful that the sun is out. I'm outside just enjoying myself for a little. I love being a mom, but I also love to just sometimes have moments where I don't have to constantly put my priorities under someone else's. Like I love to <laughs> spend time with my son. I love to hang out with him and this would have been great with him, but with him here, I couldn't have just laid down here for like 20 minutes and read. That would have never worked. So I am just very happy to get this little, little bit of time to myself today. Also this basket I bought recently in a thrift with me, it's great. It has been come in hand so many times. We usually pack this with snacks when we go swimming. It's great. 
There are a few things I actually would love to talk about. First of all, I hope you can hear me. I ordered a mic. It came, it was garbage, so I sent it back. I ordered two more to try. One for like close up and then one to go on the camera. So please bear with me. I have the audio fixed soon, but I had such an interesting last week. Um, a lot of things are currently happening for me career-wise, like with being online. I got this incredible opportunity to work with a brand that I have known since my childhood. You all know it. And I get to work with them. I can't really say anything in specific yet because I signed an NDA with them. But I just want to say that I feel like it took a long time for me to really break into the being online thing and like starting to make a little bit of money. I don't really discuss finances on here because I also think it's no one's business and I don't want people to think that they have to pay me for what I'm doing here because this is my hobby and I love to share my life with you. But I just, I'm just gonna say I don't make a lot of money online generally and I turn down most sponsorships just because I don't want to advertise brands like Timu or Halara that have like the worst kind of conditions in which they produce their garments and everything. So I turned down most sponsorships and so it has been hard for me to make a little bit of money but I would love to do that just to also support my family. Golo, my partner, is still in school. He is currently getting his degree to work with disabled people and he's also working and then works an additional three to five days a week. So he's working so hard for us and I just want to contribute as much as possible. So it feels great to finally get some opportunities to, you know, just make this a little more of a career. There are big things ahead and I am so excited and I want to also take this opportunity to thank you because everything that's happening couldn't have happened without you and I cherish your support and love so much and I love to come on here. I love that I can just talk to you whenever about whatever and we're kind of like friends hanging out. That's honestly so cool. So yeah, I just quickly wanted to talk about that because I felt so happy earlier this week when this whole working with that brand thing kind of came to be and I was so proud of myself for sticking to it and just being also true to my standards and not taking brand deals that I didn't want it to make and just the fact that it is currently really much paying off not only financially but also just with all the love and support it honestly means so much recently someone um, DM'd me and they were basically saying uh, that they cannot believe that I only like have I don't know 12,000 subscribers on YouTube and not like a hundred thousand and same with Instagram they were like why don't you have half a million followers what you do is so amazing and while I really cherish comments like that and I think it is really nice that you think that sometimes I'm like I don't really want to go viral because videos that I have made have gone viral and then they go like out of my happy corner of the internet where we are all so loving and so amazing with each other to like a bunch of people who aren't like that and while it would be great to have a bigger platform not only to have more of like financial income but also just to talk to more people who are like-minded I just want to say I am already grateful for where I am it's all because of you and whether this channel is going to grow more and it is growing my youtube channel is growing very consistently I like gain subscribers with every video that I upload but it's just not a ton at once and I love all of you. I love every single one of you. When you comment on their videos, I will often see if you uploaded videos and like them and just talk to you on their dare. Just because I want to see who you are. And I, as much as I share myself on here with you, I love to learn about you. So I always ask you to comment things just because I want to get to know you. So yeah, I just want to say I'm insanely grateful for you and all your love and support and the fact that my life is what it is right now. I just had like my anniversary of eating disorder recovery. I recovered once. Um, this is going to be a little bit of eating disorder talk. If you cannot listen to that, I'm gonna put the timestamp right here. No hard feelings, you're just gonna skip to that and then I will talk about something else or do something else. Um, so I just wanna say that I recovered for the first time in late 2020, but I didn't really take it seriously. It was kind of like a forced on me thing and I was an impatient but it didn't really stick. I was there for like six or eight weeks and I came back and nothing had changed for me. I just went back to the same old eating pattern and habits and so then like a year later um, in January of 2022 I made the decision for myself to put everything into recovery and so it's been 
a good two years and I'm so proud where I am right now. Um, recovering from my eating disorder is one of the biggest things I have done in my life. One of the things that I am the proudest of and I just want to talk about this and I will continue to talk about this even though I'm not struggling as hard anymore because I want people out there who are struggling with an eating disorder to know that you can recover. I always thought, I saw these videos of people recovering and living their life and I was like, this is never going to be me. But full disclosure, I recovered and now this is me. This is my life and it is beyond everything I could have ever imagined. So yeah, I just, I just want to say that and if you ever need help or someone to talk to, ED wise, you can always reach out. Instagram is the best to catch me. So yeah, you can always email me too. I have my email somewhere here and it's always in the description box just in case. So yeah, I just saw that there's a flower right in front of me. So I'm just gonna pick that for you to thank you for everything. This is for you. I know you can't take it, but it is a cute little one. And it's not one of the ones that they planted here. I don't wanna rip out one of those, but this one, cute little one for you so I'm just gonna continue to read a little more this amazing book I know it feels like I have been reading this forever but I just filmed a lot of vlogs very shortly after another so I have actually only been reading this for like a good week and I'm already quite far through it so yeah Karen Carpenter man what an amazing woman I'm gonna read this lay here for a little longer and then I think over there is a cafe which maybe I could get some coffee and some cake or something. That actually sounds like a good thing to do on a self-love day. I think I talked about this before, but this kind of Yoruba tea, now that I'm not nursing anymore, I'm so much loving this. It is so good. This is the ginger flavor. It's so good and it's high in caffeine, which I need currently. Oh, one thing that I haven't talked about yet, but that happened earlier today and that absolutely freaked me out. I usually put our washing machine on this setting where you put in a couple of hours and then you like load it at night and then it is basically not starting until 4 a.m. and then when you wake up at like 6 or 7 it's done and I did that and then we woke up and the washing machine was beeping weirdly and I was like hmm what's going on I might go and look and our entire bathroom was flooded and the water was kind of coming out to our hallway and I was so shocked and so I like turned off the whole water it took me about an hour to completely dry the washing machine plugged it back in it seemed to be fine put like the pump on to drain all the water and everything all was good <laughs> all was good and so we loaded it again thought we could do laundry because all of our towels were dirty from like being on the floor and full of gross washing machine water <sighs> put that on go um, within like a couple of minutes it was beeping and leaking water everywhere so I called my dad, I was like, hey, um, what's going on with this washing machine? Because it is his old washing machine. He was like, well, that washing machine is 18 years old. <laughs> That's how sustainable I am now. It's also just because I was broke when I moved out and it had always worked, so why not? He said, I don't think it's worth it to fix that thing. So and then Golo started to like Google frantically and he's like, okay, so I think we need to do this or that. Nothing works. So now um, Golo's parents are later going to come back with like, a part of their washing machine and see if we exchange that if it's working so if that part that like back part basically where it drains if that is the thing that's broken fine we can fix it if it's not we need to get a new one I'm not going to bother to fix this almost 20 year old 500 buck washing machine because this one because it is so old takes a lot of energy and it's not very efficient so I think I might just spend the money on a new one then which I don't love to because I want to put all my money currently towards the wedding but well, here we are, can't do anything without a washing machine, I guess. That was just a little update. So I'm just gonna pack up and see if I can find some cake and coffee. I found the prettiest little cafe. There's a piano, I'm sitting very nicely. Got a chocolate cake and a great cappuccino. 
this is very good. I'm just gonna eat that and then get going because I'm awkward filming in here. It's very good. It's coming on. I will I'm back in the car. I had a nice piece of cake, a good cup of coffee. What's going on? Um, there are two big trucks wanting to go up the street that has like the tiniest little bit to drive up to. So now we're all standing and waiting apparently. Oh, hold up. That was very crooked. I'm sorry. Okay, I hope that's better. So I left there and then I was like, okay, I could go to another thrift shop. And then I looked at the time and for some reason in my brain, I was like, oh no, I have to go home. My son is coming back. And then halfway on the drive home, I realized that I messed up in my head because I was like, oh, he's coming at five. No, he's not. They're bringing him back at six. So then I was an hour early, over an hour. It's like not even half past four now. And so I didn't want it to turn around and drive back to the thrift store because I was already past it. But one thing that I wanted to do was to go to the drugstore. And I don't like to go to the drugstore <laughs> with Golo because, and tell me if like you're in a relationship, your partners, do they do the same thing? He's like an in and out kind of person. He goes in, he's like, I came here for, I don't know, toothpaste. Maybe he will like look at one or two things, but he's not the kind of person who likes to just look at a bunch of things. While I, in the drugstore, enjoy to go through all the different places. I look at the makeup for a little and this and that. And so I'm just gonna take this opportunity because usually I go with my son, he's okay. He doesn't really care if I spend a, long time, a lot of time. Oh, oh no, I missed my exit. I thought that that was my exit and then I was like, no, it looks wrong, but it was the right one. I, I'm just, I need to turn around from there. But what I was going to say was I usually then take my son He's absolutely fine with it. I just give him different things and he holds on to them and he's very proud. He loves to sit in like the shopping carts. But I figured if I just have this time to myself, I might as well just go to the drugstore. So now I need to see where I can turn around. Um, yeah, that. Oh yeah, that seems good. Yeah, I'm just gonna drive down there. There's like a large grocery store. They should have some sort of parking lot. Oh yeah, there's a big parking lot for me to turn around, which is good because I am terrified, absolutely terrified of doing like a U-turn on a very busy street. I cannot do it and I will not do it. Oh, I might, can I drive a little? So now I just have to wait for, I don't know what feels like eternity to make that U-turn. It's unbelievable, I still feel tired, even though I like had some of the yerba tea, not all of it, and coffee. And that cake was so good. I actually ended up sitting there for a little longer, reading a little more in my book, which I really enjoy. Okay, I think it's my turn. Perfect. Oh yeah, I can turn around down there. I was very proud of myself too because I managed to drive all the way back until here, which is like not even where we live without turning on maps, which I have the worst, I tell you, the absolutely worst memory and orientation. Like we will drive the same way a couple of times before I can really get it. I don't know, I think it is because I never really drove that much. I was always a like train kind of person so I feel like with that I'm very good at like catching the right train and everything if you can be good at that okay I think I can go after that car yeah but I used to be so bad at remembering where to go um, but I feel like I kind of mastered it now I got a lot better at it at least so yeah I'm just gonna see what the drugstore has in store for me um, I kind of want to get a powder I haven't used powder 
in quite a while also i said in the last vlog i'm gonna say it again i am in a very talkative mood and so these vlogs are going to be very rambly but i love that you love that so let's hang out and just uh, enjoy our time together so we are at the drugstore i'm gonna go in and see i can take you along actually i think that works let's see where are my airpods because my favorite thing i'm just gonna be honest with you one of my beloved things about like having time for myself is listening to podcasts and like catching up on things which i do all day long at home too i always need to listen to something it's absolutely wild i've been listening to a lot of audiobooks recently teddy and i always listen to absolutely everything all day long i of course came to the baby section and they have glasses sunglasses which is great because we are going on vacation and i think my son is not old enough for like sunglasses and i want him to have like some round ones some retro -y ones but i don't want to get vintage ones just because i want them to be uv safe so let's have a look these might be the cutest thing i've ever seen but i think they're are they big are there different sizes here i don't know these are so cute <gasps> Look at these! Oh my god, these are so perfect. Aren't these the cutest? Oh, and these like even have like an elastic in the back. Okay, I think you can take it off too. So this is an option. There are also these. These are just red without the stripes. These are quite cool too. Purple ones. I don't think that's quite his color, but they're cute. Oh no, these. Look at these with the flowers. I love the flower shaped ones. They have them in blue too. They're so cute. I don't think Golo is gonna like the flower ones. I'm just gonna put those back. Oh, look at these, like a little round. Oh, he's definitely gonna get round ones. These ones are too, quite cute, with like a little ear balloon. I'm gonna get these. They're so cute, like little round circular red sunnies. I think that these are perfect for 60s look. I would get these for myself. They're four euros, which I think is a great deal. So these go in to on the cruise that I did uh, throughout Europe um, like two years ago and the heels broke and so I let them so I took them to the cobbler and I fixed it and they're falling off again this one fell off completely this one is chipping so I'm thinking about getting rid of these shoes but I love them and they're so comfortable and they're perfect because most of my white shoes are rather cream color these are like a true bright white which goes well with this skirt so I'm unsure what to do here the sun is coming in so nicely. I'm just gonna show you what I got down here. And then I really, really, really need to take off my makeup. It feels like a little, my face is kind of like, I don't even know. I just wanna take it off often at the end of the day. I kind of feel like that. Okay, I just quickly muted my phone because I kept getting messages. So um, the first and the biggest thing that I got is uh, this, which I believe is a vintage sewing case. I want to use it for jewelry. So I have this this jewelry holder thing that I built that is on the wall. But the issue that I have is it doesn't fit big jewelry pieces. So I thought that this would be perfect. Um, so I cannot wait to stack this. It has, oh Jesus, these are the little vases that I got. It has like some bits inside. I tried to take this out when I was there. And this is like a little stuck, so I need to see how I can actually take this out. But it has this bit, which I think is perfect to like organize some smaller things. So yeah, this was, I think she said it was five bucks, but because I brought in something, she was like, it's only three. But I ended up giving her five just because that shop truly was for people who aren't um, as fortunate as I am, who just don't have a lot of money. And so I wanted to make sure that I pay a lot and like donate the rest of the money basically to them. And when I say I wanted to pay a lot, I just mean I didn't want her to give me a discount. So yeah, I got this um, and I love it. And then I found the next thing. So nothing in there had prices. And so I asked her and she was like, oh, that's 150. 
So for 150, I got six of these insane vases that I hope now that I see them, I'm like they're a little small for centerpieces, but they're perfect for the decor for the wedding. So I got six of these. I just hope they all made it intact, but it looks like it. It's funny, these bags take me back because these used to be at like a drugstore where they gave you these bags with everything, but Germany and I think a lot of countries in Europe banned single-use plastic to be free. So now you have to pay for plastic bags, which I think is very good. And so I think they just gave all these bags to this shop. I have no clue, but I don't, but obviously this is not the logo of the shop that I was at. So they must have gotten them somewhere. Oh, these are so beautiful. Oh, one has a sticker. Let's see. International style made in Italy. Wow. What a nice little sticker. Oh, I love the way that the sun is coming in. What a dreamy scene. Yeah, <laughs> other than that, I only got things for my son. I love wooden toys. So I got him this little puzzle. He's about to be one, which I'm so heavy hearted about because it felt like this year has gone by so fast. But he really loves these kind of things. And the other thing that he really loves right now is stacking things. So I got him two stacking toys. I already know Golo is gonna freak a little because there's one bit missing here. It was missing in the store, I asked her about it, but I thought that this was perfect because he just loves to like put things on top of each other. And with things like this where something is missing, sometimes that's like a plus for me to buy it because I'm like, if I don't buy this, this is going to go to landfill. And this also just had such a nice retro feel. I love these like wooden bits. I'm not forcing like a 60s aesthetic on my son but the things that i'm currently buying i just like these timeless classic designs so yeah i got him this and i'm a big fan of wooden toys because they're non-toxic usually and what i even prefer and what i think is even more important it's less likely that something's gonna break off and then i got this which haba this is like a brand in germany a toy wooden toy camp company and they make quite expensive things so let's see, it's another stacking thing. Now I can start stacking. So you can stack like from top to bottom and the other way around. Oh no, it's yellow and then orange. And then a little red one. Yeah, I thought that that was kind of cool. See, whenever I want to do something nice for me, I end up getting things for my son, but that's fine. He's the best. And then they had this whole basket of these little dolls. And I thought she was the cutest thing. They were one euro each. And she had, like, I said, that full basket. She said that this brand didn't sell them. This was like a Christmas thing. And so they got all of these gifted. And I thought she was the cutest little thing. And I hope my son will love her. I know there's the stigma of boys not playing with dolls. But who cares, honestly. She's so cute. And I think he will love her. Because lately he's really into plush animals. So I feel like in a little, he might like dolls like this. So yeah, I thought she was so cute with that little dress. And... Her little like golden shoe feet. I just really liked it. So yeah, that's everything that I got at the secondhand charity shop. Let me take you through my drugstore purchase, which was way more expensive than all of this, which should tell you something. Okay, so the first thing that I got, I already showed you, is these sunnies. So I got these. I mean, they're way too small for me, but they're going to be so cute on our sun. So yeah, I love them. These are honestly everything that I wanted and more. Everything else I got for me. <laughs> the first thing, I'm a little mad about this, but at least it was discounted from nine euros to 4.45. It's another measuring tape. Do I have about 100 measuring tapes? Yes. Does my baby take them and drag them everywhere and now I cannot find them? Also, yes. Do I definitely need one because I need to make all of my measurements to get my wedding dress custom made also yes have i been putting this off for too long yes so i was like i need to measure myself tonight and send over the measurements because i need a wedding dress so this was so it wasn't even that expensive and i think i always just put them pretty much everywhere to have one when i ever need one so yeah i have this measuring tape that i hope that I am not going to lose, at least not yet. Everything else that I got is makeup. Let's start with the less exciting things. Maybe let's start with these. I get these quite often. These are the lashes that I use. I use them a couple of times, but after a while they get very 
um, sticky and like the glue doesn't really come off and they lose their shape. So I'm gonna say I buy these about once a month and yeah, just put them on my eyes. I got a white coal eyeliner. I talked about it before, but basically um, I think I need to do an updated makeup routine because there are some things that have changed. So maybe that's gonna come quite soon. Maybe this is already up when you're seeing this video. But one thing that I have learned recently is, but one thing that I have been doing lately and that I don't think a lot of people know is if you want that really white, crisp eyeshadow look, use a coal eyeliner and smudge it on your eye. It'll get so white, so bright, it's perfect. And then just like matte it down with a white eyeshadow. So I got this. I got some more blue mascara because the one that I had had been in my collection for years. And so I thought it must be expired by now and it smelled odd so I took that away. I actually did like a makeup declutter this morning when our bathroom flooded because my son likes to pull things on the ground and so my entire makeup was flooded. It's all drying now and I hope that I get to save some things but I got this and then I got something I had never bought before which is brown mascara. I also have clear one but I really wanted to try the brown so I'm gonna see how that is because the clear one that I have doesn't really shape my eyelashes in any sort of way so I'm excited to see how this one is gonna be and then I got three more things so years ago I saw this video that's like a 60s makeup tutorial like a real one from the 60s and I was always like oh I need to recreate that but then a couple of days ago I saw someone else doing it and at first I felt very discouraged because I was like if I now do it everyone's gonna think that I copied that person but honestly I don't think I will care. I can still also do that video. It doesn't matter who had the idea first or whatever. I, just because I didn't get around to doing that before, I think it is absolutely fine for me to make my own spin-off of that kind of video. So yeah, I want to try that. And one thing that both in that video is shown and that I haven't gotten in such a long time and that is um, translucent powder. So I got a loose setting powder, um, just a very bright translucent one. And I'm excited to try this because I feel like lately my skin has been quite oily. Um, it went from very dry to very oily. I think I'm somewhere in the mix. But I really want to try this. And then one more thing. You know that I usually always use these kind of like chapstick for blush. I use them for blush and on my lips. But they kind of like go into your skin. You know, it's kind of like a cream and within like an hour or two you can barely see that I put them there. So I got some liquid blush. I got two colors because I simply couldn't decide. One is called Pink Feelings and one is called Ready Red Go. I like to have a pinkish and a reddish one. I like the pinkish ones more for like bubblegum 60s makeup and then the reddish ones I prefer for like a late 60s makeup or even a hippie look if you want to keep it very light. So I'm excited to try these. Yeah, that's all I got. My battery's blinking, so you're about to die. I'm just gonna take off my makeup, and I think my son is coming home pretty soon. So yeah, um, I will catch up with you later. obviously a lot later it's pitch black out I changed into my little nighty dress set I just took my son to bed we do this whole routine obviously it's very important with children to like give them a good routine to fall asleep so we brushed teeth he loves it he never wants to let go of his toothbrush sometimes he will fall asleep with his toothbrush in his hand which I think is the cutest thing uh, I read him and then I lay down with him until he's asleep. So he's asleep now and I'm gonna do the number one me time thing that I love to do and that is dance around frantically uh, in the middle of the night. It's not the middle of the night. It's not even 8 p.m. But yeah, and I would use my record player but with my son being asleep, I don't want to do that. So I'm just gonna use my AirPods, put on 
find some music and dance a little bit. Which is the number one self-care thing for me. It's the number one thing I do to get my mind cleared. So yeah, enjoy this. And if you have never tried it, put on very loud music uh, and dance the night away. And just so you're aware, I have my son on this monitor and the screen is off. But even though I cannot hear him because I'm wearing AirPods, um, the screen will light up as soon as there's a sound down there. So I'm just gonna put the screen somewhere where I can see it. I always go with whichever music I just currently enjoy. gonna say dance to whatever you want but these days by Nico is the best song to end your little dance it's beautiful I'm just putting my little jacket back on it is almost 8 p.m. and one thing I don't think I've ever talked about it on here um, I have a little guilty pleasure and it is called Germany's Next Top Model and I think everyone knows what it is um, it's in every country and I know it is horrible for like a lot of reasons but years and years ago, a friend of mine participated in like Germany's Next Top Model, and she won. And that was like the first season I watched. And ever since, it kind of stuck. And so my best friend and I, we would get together on like FaceTime and watch it and catch up. Because there are so many advertisement breaks, like every 10 minutes. Um, but we saved two episodes last week and this week. And so we are just gonna start FaceTiming, gonna set up the TV, watch this, watch the entire thing talk about it have a great evening with a friend um yeah and i think i'm just gonna end the video right here i want to thank you for spending time with me today if you want to have one takeaway of this video i hope it is that you deserve to take time for yourself you deserve to treat yourself you deserve to take yourself on dates and i hope you do because it's the best thing i feel so recharged i feel so happy and i know this is going to be the perfect ending to my night so yeah thank you for spending time with me today i hope you had a beautiful day whatever you did i hope you went out a little you enjoyed the sunshine i hope you did take and will take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today and i will catch you in the next video good night everybody